Hello friends, this video on life processes part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We will also see how these life processes, which we are going, how are the life processes interlinked to each other. Now as I said, why do the living organisms actually have these life processes? Because the living organisms need some energy and these life processes will give that energy because organisms need energy for everything for walking running studying even for sleeping they need some energy because we still breathe when we are sleeping right okay so let us see the relation between the life processes so the first life processes what is that nutrition so in nutrition we talk all about food that means how do an organism obtain food now, once he obtains food, how does he intake that food, take the food inside his body? Now, then what happens to that food? The food is broken down into simpler molecules. The food is digested. The food is absorbed by the body. Correct? So, now the question is, this food which is taken in during the process of nutrition, how energy, the next question would be, how energy would be obtained from this food? which we are talking about in nutrition. So the answer to this question is given by the next life process that is respiration. So respiration is the process by which energy is obtained from the food which we had taken because and this energy can be utilized for various activities like running, even for chit chatting with each other, you need some energy, right? If you do not eat something a whole day, if you are on fast for two, three days, what happens? You don't feel like doing anything. You don't get that activeness in your body, right? So in respiration, what actually happens is that in presence of oxygen, the food which we had taken is broken. So the food is broken down into simpler substances and a lot of energy is released. So this energy is utilized for various activities. So that's because in most of the complex organisms, when the organisms take food in complex forms, for example, fruits, vegetables, bread, rice, all these are complex food, right? So the body cannot utilize the food in its complex form. So what it will do, it will convert the food into a simpler form. And then in presence of oxygen, that simpler food will be further oxidized to give energy, which can be utilized for later purposes. So in respiration, we will talk about how we get that oxygen which is needed to <coughs> produce that energy and how that energy is produced using the oxygen. Okay, so now the question is, so we got energy from food, from respiration. So now the question is, how this energy in the form of food or gas reach the body? So how energy reach each part of body because each and every cell inside our body needs energy right so how do we transport the uh, nutrients or the food or the gases to each and every cell so that is taken care by transportation so in transportation as you can see in this picture you see that everything is carried to different parts of the body right so all nutrients are actually carried in this fashion so we will talk about transportation in detail in our later slides so for now you can just understand so transportation means in respiration energy is produced now that it has to reach each and every corner of body so there we have the transportation so this transportation system in human beings is known as the circulatory system and in plants it is, it is taken care by the vascular bundles. I am sure you are aware of these names now. We have spoken about the vascular tissues while we were talking about tissues in class 9th. Right? So in human beings we have the circulatory system for this purpose and in plants we have the vascular bundles. Okay, so now the energy and all the nutrients have reached each and every corner of the body. 
Now, what about the wastes? So now, by the time so many things have taken place, there was a lot of waste production as well. Because when the food gets digested, the food is actually getting converted into simpler substances. So during those chemical reactions, a lot of waste materials or harmful substances are also produced. So what happens to those substances? We just cannot keep accumulating wastes inside our body. So those waste products or those useless byproducts which are formed during the process of energy generation needs to be got rid from the body. So the process of removal of such waste products is known as excretion. Right. So now you understood how nutrition, respiration, transportation and excretion are related to each other. So in this lesson, we will talk about these four life processes in detail one by one. So we will. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.